Am I the arsehole? For telling my mom outrageous lies and making her look ridiculous. My mom refuses to believe me when I tell her I don't know something. When I still lived at home she would ask me personal questions about my brothers or my friends. I tried to explain that I had no way of knowing what my brother, who was away at university, was doing for the weekend. Or why my friend had colored his hair. It didn't matter. The questions never stopped. So I have developed a method to deal with her. It has four stages. 1. If she asks me something that I know or have the ability to Google, where did Brendan Fraser do for the last decade then I answer her question to the best of my ability. 2. If she asks me a question that I have no possible way of knowing I tell her clearly that I don't know. 3. If she persists I come up with a random but plausible answer. For example when she asked me what my friend from high school, who is married to my brother's wife's sister, was doing with his old car when he bought his new car I told her that he traded it in. 4. When she doesn't believe the plausible story, then I go nuts. So when she said that she had spoken to my sister-in-law and he wasn't trading it in them I come up with a random story. The car was stolen and when the cops found it the entire trunk was packed with coolers full of dead squirrels and elk meat. So they are keeping it as evidence and that's why he is getting a new bronco. I don't know why but she believes the weirdest shit I come up with and passes it on as facts. This has now bitten me in the ass. My brother said that when she was over there visiting she asked him about the squirrels and elk meat. And that it made the visit weird. Everyone is mad at me for misleading my mom and for her embarrassing herself at my brother's house. I think she needs to learn that I don't know everything and that she should accept that as an answer. Not the asshole. I don't know why some moms are this way. I heard a story a while back about a guy who got I don't know tattooed on his arm so he could just point at it when his mom asked him questions he couldn't answer. Waha. Yeah. Not the asshole. Your mom needs to learn that an honest I don't know is the best answer you can give. If the reality of it doesn't sink after the squirrels fiasco, there's probably no hope. I would suggest going to the straight up outlandish, though. Or use conditionals. Maybe they're trading it in? You should ask him. When that's ignored, well? Maybe they loaned it out to Harry. You know how the blue beetle is always breaking down. Not the asshole. But you are awesome. If others are unhappy with your plan, explain what your mom does and ask if they're willing to be on call as your mom's infinite source of information. That will likely shut them down. And, if it doesn't, they've abdicated any right to be upset with how you're handling the situation. Nata but your mom is so naive. Watch her carefully because any scammer could scam her easily. Skip the first three stages and just go nuts. Sprinkle your stories with aliens, ghosts, pirates, skeletons make it fun and entertaining, since your words are taken as facts. Others can answer themselves if they wish to, you are not obligated to do so after so many futile attempts. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I love the dead squirrels and elk meat I had a co-worker years ago who believed everything that her son, who was in law school told her. It was mostly ridiculous urban legend stuff, like the Nabisco symbol is from devil worship and that Nabisco is run by devil worshippers, so she was boycotting Nabisco. Another one was that Liz Claiborne in an interview once said that she made her clothes for exclusively for white women. My co-worker definitely would have repeated as if she was there and saw the whole thing. Not the asshole. Some parents really start thinking of I don't know as an excuse answer for when their kid doesn't want to tell them something. But typically they don't apply that this broadly. I think you need to sit down with your mother and your brother's family and explain why this happened. The reason I suggest having your brother's family there is so that your mother can't just go off at you without looking even more weird in front of them. Not the asshole. I too have had to deal with a parent not accepting I don't know when asked about someone else's life. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, not the asshole my mom was like this, 
Plus she was a shit talker who liked to triangulate people. I wouldn't lie about other people's lives but she thought I lived in the city I had never even heard of for at least three years because I wouldn't tell her where I lived and when she decided she knew where I lived I just let her think that. If she spoke to your sill and knew it wasn't traded in, then why couldn't sill tell her what really happened? Why did she have to ask you? Not the asshole. My brother said that when she was over there visiting she asked him about the squirrels and elk meat. And that it made the visit weird. That's hilarious why is everyone mad? They should be eagerly awaiting the next installment of weird shit you've told your mother that she actually believes. What you did didn't bite you in the ass, it's what your mom did asking you questions you can't possibly know the answers to and refusing to accept IDK as an answer that bit her in the ass. Not the asshole. I was leaning towards ESH because lying is bad, but it seems like you have tried to be reasonable with her and this seems like a fun way to cope with the situation. Maybe she will eventually take the hint that your secondary account of events aren't always going to be accurate. Not the asshole. Not the asshole switched the script on her, answer I'd can when she still asks, ask her the same question and when she says I'd don't accept the answer and continue hounding her, smiley face. Not the asshole. My mom would do this constantly and I had no idea why as a teen. With a couple more decades I realized it reflects on her control issues and needing to know everything. Not the asshole. But why are moms like this? My mom is a perfectly intelligent, reasonable person but she'll ask and I'll say IDK. Then she'll reword and ask again and I'm like, IDK. And then she'll ask again and get mad when I'm like, you can keep asking but I still won't know. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. My mom used to ask me easily googleable things. I just set up the voice command feature on her phone so she could ask Google or Siri. Priceless please keep it up best Sunday morning coffee laugh I've had in years. Given that you're saying that you don't know before being pushed to answer means that to me you're not the asshole. You might want to try explaining to your mum that I don't know is an accurate answer, and if you knew you'd happily tell her. It's not like the reason someone changed cars is forbidden knowledge. If that doesn't work, then at least tell her, I don't know, but if you want me to make something up, then ask me again. After that warning I think that outrageous lies are the correct way to go. Good luck. If I wasn't fairly certain that my mother had no sisters, I'd suspect they were siblings. My mother did not and does not accept I don't know, instead following up with the unending whys. Not the asshole, but if she's anything like mine, she won't learn from this. Good luck cop. Not the asshole, but from now on, when she starts an obviously unanswerable line of questioning, just grin and say, I don't know, but I could make something up real quick. Not the asshole why on earth would she accept squirrel meat over I don't know? I'm not going to pass judgment because everyone else has already said everything in that regard, but I would point out your mom is probably not asking because the answer is important, she's probably asking because she wants to have a conversation with you.